Hey, Matthew, Big Brother Spoilers from Instagram here. Such an emotional episode you went out in last night. How are you feeling this morning? I'm just happy that I woke up today. I can't complain. It's a blessing. Um, I had a great experience on the show. Obviously, you never want to go out. It was definitely an emotional day. I created some real relationships that are going to be lifelong in there. And I'm never good at goodbyes. So you could see that on my face. Um, I'm sure you could see it in the DDs or even the, possibly the episode. But it was definitely an emotional day for the whole house. So let's get right into it. We saw this week that you and Avery actually had a close relationship despite her backdooring you. So how shocking was it when she ultimately told you that you were an option and then she went through with the back door? Honestly, I always prepare myself for the worst and just seeing where the house dynamic was at, I kind of felt it that there was a chance I would go up. Um, I know Avery is a super fan and this is her lifelong dream to win the show. So I knew she was willing to do whatever. You know, you just kind of hope that that personal relationship is enough to keep you safe. She did tell me I was safe at the beginning of the week and I didn't have to worry. But this is Big Brother and anything can happen. And unfortunately, it was my time to go. Were you surprised to hear in Victoria's goodbye message that there's an alliance with her, Anthony, Avery, Kayla, and Lexus? I was like slightly surprised, to be honest. Um, I knew that Spicy was in another alliance on the other side of the house. I truly thought she was going to be loyal to Dougie, myself, Lexus, and then also Tola. I just feel like us five, we would have been the strongest five that you could have formed in the house. Um, however, regardless of that five-person alliance, I 100% truly believe that Dougie and Lexus would have chose me down the road over those alliance members and possibly anyone in the house. Uh, uh, I know when loyalty is real, and I know Dougie and Lexus both had me, and I had them. After hearing about this alliance, does it make sense that Avery wants to take you out? Probably the regret outside the five. Oh, yeah, it definitely made sense. Uh, it was a game move. And like I said, just with my strong relationship for, with Dougie and Lexus, I was probably that one person that could really split up that alliance. So Kayla, Avery, and Spicy really needed to do that to keep itself secure. But I know Lexus and Dougie aren't going to forget that. They might play nice for a little bit just because they need to for their own safety. However, I know when they get the chance, they're going to get my revenge. Something that you mentioned in your preseason bio was that you would be a competition beat. So in your 40 days of house, you didn't win any competitions. What happened? Um, when it came into the house, I really was surprised that there was not too many physical threats for the males. So I had to change up the game plan and realize that I can't win at all. And I actually threw most of the competitions. Um, I can only truly say that the steal the spotlight competition was the one I gave it my all in just because I felt like that one was going to be uh, a random winner. It was more so by luck and by chance. And then for all the other competitions, I kind of just played it out to see who was in the lead or who was remaining. I knew which people were gunning for me. So early on, I never wanted Dennis to win any competitions. And I would kind of just go from there. And when he got eliminated, I felt much safer as well as Bailey. Um, uh, even in the last HOA competition where we were tossing the milkshakes, I felt really safe with Avery. So I felt, uh, well, her score, don't let me put her down at all, 36. That's really impressive. It looks easy. It was not easy at all. But I felt safe with her. And I didn't think it was a must win. Sometimes you make some mistakes and it doesn't work out for you. And that's just what happened to me. So we do a word association here to get to know your fellow house gets better. So I'll say someone's name and you say the first word, a couple words that pop into your head. So we'll start off with Avery. Super fan and just unique and true to herself. Bailey? I would say Bailey is a powerful character and has no problem saying what's on her mind. Donna? I feel like Dawn is very well-rounded, and she shines in the spotlight. Dennis? A competitor, someone who never gives up and gives it all they got. Elijah? Goose isn't one in a million. He's one of one, and he stays true to his character no matter who he's surrounded with. 
Janine? I feel like I didn't get to know Janine too well. But I really feel like she was like a mother bear and she was just really genuine person. Kayla? A well-rounded competitor. Todd? I think Todd's like an onion. There's layers and he's not showing his full true colors. Um, he's definitely a smart guy. Tola? A, a competitor and a loyal man. Vivek? A super fan and someone who plays the game hard. Victoria? Spicy V is Spicy V. She's wild, unique, and will do whatever she has to to win. Anthony? Loyal to the soil. That's my dog. And we'll finish off with Lexus. On the inside and out. So speaking of Lexus, something else that you mentioned in your preseason bio was that you would not get into show math. So what was it about Lexus that you just couldn't resist? I did say that. Um, right when she came down the stairs, I was in trouble. Uh, I saw her. She just ticked all my boxes physically. So I kind of, if you roll back the tape, I stayed away from talking to her for the first four or five days because I didn't want to get to know the person, that, that beautiful person she is on the inside. And then you spend 24 hours in the day. It's hard to avoid someone in the Big Brother house. Um, once I got to know her, I feel like she was just everything I look for in a girl on the inside and out. So for me, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm truthful. I'm open and I'm upfront. And I just couldn't lie to myself. Uh, I definitely created some real feelings for her. Do you want to continue a relationship with her on the outside? I definitely do, whether that's a friendship or a romantic relationship. Um, like I said, I'm not, I can't fake it. I'm true to myself and true to how I feel. I definitely created some feelings for her, and I think she did as well. However, I know that the Big Brother house is a small scope compared to reality. Uh, emotions are amplified. I do believe the emotions and feelings were true. So whether that is a romantic or a friendship, I feel like Lexus will be someone in my life for a very long time. And she's a great girl. Was part of why you wanted to stay so bad this week, knowing that if you were evicted, you'd be the last pre-juror and you wouldn't be able to spend the last month with her? Maybe that had a little bit, but I'm not really. At the end of the day, I'm a gamer. I'm a competitor. You never want to go out. Um, obviously, I, it would have been great to be a part of jury. I try to always look at the positive, so I do get to see my family sooner. Uh, it's tough because I wanted to be there. Um, but I would say it was more so the fact that um, I just wanted to be in the house, and I'm a gamer, and I wanted to go as far as I could. I don't think, and I hope Lexus is never going to even touch the jury. Do you feel that you and Lexus isolated yourselves at all from the rest of the house and it took away from building and solidifying other relationships? Probably, but I don't think it was the reason why I didn't build other relationships. Um, for me, I just gravitate towards the people that I naturally vibe with. Obviously, I got along with everyone in the house, but that doesn't mean that I feel or have the same relationship with everyone in the house. Um, being in the Big Brother house, it consumes you a lot mentally and emotionally. You're there for 24 hours with no escape. So Lexus was definitely that escape for me. Um, we had talks about distancing ourselves multiple times, and it just was hard for us. Um, my family's my support system, and so she kind of would just substitute it in where she made me feel safe and supported. I could just truly be myself. I have no regrets. I had the opportunity to meet a really great person. And like I said, whether it's romantically or in a friendship, that's a lifelong thing. Uh, money comes and goes. But I stayed true to my character and I met some great people in that house. Who do you feel the most betrayed by? I would probably, I would probably say Spicy or Avery. But from a game standpoint, after it was revealed to me, they had that five person alliance. Um, I know Dougie I know. and Lexus would have chose me over anyone in that alliance and possibly anyone in the house down the line. So it was probably the best game move for them, especially me being on the other side and a great, uh, a great competitor. I know I didn't get to showcase that, but I'm telling you all, it was coming out. Um, so from a game standpoint, I feel like it had to be done. I respect the move. And it's life, you know, it's just a game at the end of the day. There's more important things and more important and bigger problems on the outside. I got blessed with the opportunity to uh, have an experience that not a lot of people get the chance at. So 
at the end of the day, I'm just happy I had the opportunity, and I'm blessed. Uh, Don had a question she wants me to ask you. Do you regret not voting to keep her against Elijah? Because part of her pitch was that you would be in the same situation as her against the block uh, against Elijah. No, I don't have any regrets. I feel like Donna pitched my name as well as and Donna. Don't forget the day before you came right up to me and you said, I'm not even going to pitch to you. I feel like I'm wasting my breath. And I was taken back. And then 15 minutes before bed, you told me you needed one more, one more person to save you. It's all love, Donna Bear. But you could have had a better chance if you just pitched to me from the beginning or didn't even tell me that you weren't going to waste your breath. If you'd stayed in the house and won HOH, who would you have targeted? I would have probably put up Kayla and Bailey. Uh, Bailey wouldn't have been my target, but I just feel like Bailey's a great competitor. And if she was playing in the veto as a selection, she would take Kayla down. And then I probably would have replaced uh, whoever got pulled off if someone did with Avery. Who will you stay in touch with after the game? I definitely will stay in touch uh Hopefully everyone, but no doubt in my mind, it's a lifelong relationship with Dougie, Tola, and Lexus. Who do you want to win and who do you think will win? Uh, I want Lexus, Tola, or Dougie uh, to I win. I think all three ha of them have a I great chance. We, they really need to pull out an HOH win and survive this week and take a number down from the other side. But I'm, all, I'm always riding with the dog, so i got to go with those three. And last question I have from... Uh, Danny Wong, she wants to know, does your sister still get the Taylor Swift tickets even though you didn't win? Danny girl, Danny girl. I'll take you out for dinner. I'll treat you real nice, but you're not getting those Taylor Swift tickets. Maybe one day I'll make it big where she invites us out to, uh, for free, but just know we're going to save our money, spend it elsewhere. Yeah. All right, Matthew, I know you have a lot of interviews to get to today, so thanks for making the time to chat with me. Yeah, it was a pleasure. You have a great rest of your day, and thank you for your time.